What's going on guys? My name is Doug. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be listening to a song called Dear God that has been blowing up on YouTube and on Spotify. It's by an artist named Dax. He actually hit me up on Instagram to see what I thought about the track, to see, you know, any analysis, and so I'm making the video for it. I think the track actually has over 7 million views on YouTube, over 2 million plays on Spotify, so it's kind of blowing up. It's getting a lot of attention. And the thumbnail is pretty interesting. He's carrying a cross. It's called Dear God. So, uh, you know, being a Christian myself, those of you who watched my Kanye West video, the Jesus is King video, know um, this should be pretty interesting for me. It should be a pretty interesting experience. You know, I'll try and uh, dissect the song as best as I can, provide some insight, provide some clarity. And, um, you know, I'll do my thing. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all support the channel. Subscribe if you enjoy the video, like the video. Uh, be sure to support the channel on Patreon as well. It helps me to keep the videos coming, even when YouTube copyrights the video. And, uh, yeah. Let's just get into it. Let's listen to some music. This is Dear God by Dax. I'm also going to be watching the video. The video will be up on screen. Let's see what he's got for us. So we have the Centurions whipping him. There's a lot of questions that I have about the past And I don't want to hear it from a human You made it so you're the last person that I'm ever gonna ask What's the point of love? Every time I showed it I was broken and it's forced me just to only want to hate Why's the only one? Why does everybody want to tell us how to live But they won't listen to the same damn message that they get Tell me how to feel, tell me what's wrong Why does everybody try to profit off another man's work And destroy it just for monetary gain Tell me right. I'm going to but I've been looking in the book And it seems like they've been lying for my whole damn life Tell me why I'm gone is this beat is really great, man. My life is like a book that they've been judging by a cover, but I've never took the time to fucking read the shit. I remember telling you my goals and my dreams, but you didn't. I don't want religion, I need that spirituality. I don't want a church, I need people to call a family. I don't want to tell myself. How do I take this darkness and turn it into light? How do I believe in the concept where I speak to a man I've never seen with my own two eyes? Change while the rich get richer and the poor pray to you and perpetuate a lie. How do I know this ain't some big joke? How, how, oh, how the hell does one man have a hundred billion dollars and we still have people on the street that are broke? Yeah, man. I want to talk to the pastor in a church like it's still here to scream to the kids, you will fucking molest. Dear God. But you ain't said shit, so maybe it's you who actually fears me. I don't know the answer, I just want to see it clearly. So many lives left and watch their steps. Dear God. Dear God. Dear God. I don't want to have to ask you again. This all end this all by saying amen. Nice. The imagery is crazy, dude. The imagery is really crazy. So they basically beat him to death. Ah. So they basically beat him to death and uh, he started levitating, scared all the soldiers away. <laughs> um, all right, wow, okay. So you know what I'm gonna do? Now that I've heard it and uh, seen the video, I'm gonna pull up the lyrics on Genius so that when we uh, break this track down, we can actually reference you know, certain bars, certain lines. Um, my thoughts on the video, man. It, it, you know, it's it's got a lot of really cool imagery you know it's got a lot of different um references of course i can already tell that a lot of people are going to be feeling a certain way about seeing dax carrying a cross in the video you know a lot of people they just get caught caught up in this idea of the cross and they act like jesus was the only person to ever be crucified crucifixion happened way before and long after jesus lived and died uh, and rose again you know it, it's it was a very popular form of torture and punishment and execution in the Roman Empire and so you know seeing somebody carrying a cross does not automatically mean that they are blaspheming or that you know they're a heretic or something like that a lot of people were crucified in fact I, I believe it was Nero was it he used to actually light his streets with uh, the corpses of people who were crucified on the side of the road and then set on fire so you know there were people who had it pretty badly and so seeing Dax carrying a cross does not necessarily make him a heretic or anything like that just off the bat we'll get that straight out of the way another thing I will say is that I do really appreciate the fact that before the song he does clarify that he is a believer um, just so that it, it's almost like he knows he's going to get so much flack from people who are religious hypocrites um, who are you know zealots for the traditions of the church and not necessarily what the the Bible actually preaches um, people who follow these things that they've been told and not necessarily what they read and what they believe to be the Word of God. You know, it's crazy. So many Christians believe the Bible to be the Word of God and then they just don't read it. They just accept what people tell them about it. What type of 
God do you believe in if you literally have access to what you believe to be his word and yet you still won't read it? You know, it, it would get rid of it would get rid of a lot of the hypocrisy because a lot of the things that he mentions in the video, a lot of the hypocrisy that he mentions in the video, the Bible specifically teaches against those things. And yet, you know, people are just blinded by uh, these false teachers and things like that. So I do like to, the fact that he clarified that he is a believer just because um, people would, would try to come at him from the angle of, oh, you don't believe in God and you're being a heretic and you're disrespecting our religion and all that. And he's basically saying, look, it's none of that. These are my personal questions to God because I am a believer myself and I believe he is real and so I want him to answer these questions. I like that. Um, I'm trying to pull up the lyrics and talk at the same time. It's pretty tough. You know, a, uh, a lot of the questions that he has in this song are questions that everybody has, you know, and that uh, for people who believe in God and for people who don't believe in God, you know, they would have these exact same questions if they were ever face to face with him. If, and, you know, they, they would ask why these certain things happen. Uh, there are three books in the Bible that are called the wisdom books that talk about these specific things. You know, the book of Job, Ecclesiastes, and Proverbs ask a lot of these same questions and do their best to answer them. They're, they're very interesting. They, they point out the futility of earthly life and how if you truly believe in eternal life the 80 or so years that you get on earth is such a short time period in the grand scheme of things and how all the problems that you see uh, and all the complications that you see in your life aren't as big as we make them out to be and how we should approach these issues with more hope and more faith instead of making them out to be so large that we feel like we're being crushed by them because, you know, if you truly believe in, in eternal life, then uh, these problems become simpler and simpler to face head on because you realize that in the grand scheme of things, you know, they don't matter as much. We don't matter as much. We're so tiny in an in infinite universe, you know, and things like that. They, they kind of approach things from that angle um, of just helping people to stay grounded in reality and to realize, hey, you know, things are bad, but they're temporary and things like that. So like I was saying, these questions are questions that everybody has, whether you're a believer or not, um, whether you're agnostic or atheist or Catholic or evangelical Protestant, uh, whether you're Buddhist or, you know, Muslim. These are questions that everybody has about life. Why do bad things happen to good people? Why are there so many religions if there's only one God? Uh, why do we have rich people in the world and poor people in the world who are starving to death? You know, not actual, like, not poor people who can't afford, you know, a trip to Disneyland. Poor people who are actually starving to death. Why is there that disparity in the world? Why do those things happen if you're real? Uh, you know, things like that. They're all questions that we have. And so this track becomes very relatable. This track becomes almost like a prayer that all of us can make to God as well. As, as somebody who believes, I would say that the only thing really, like if, you're, if you are a Christian, if you believe in God and you want to nitpick the song and get at Dax and say that he's a heretic and say that this is blasphemy and he shouldn't be seen carrying a cross and he's being disrespectful and all of that. If you're, the only thing that you could kind of nitpick about this track is the portion where he says that maybe it's God who fears him. That is as close as, as he comes to heresy. And even then he presents it as a hypothetical, you know, it's, it's a maybe, it's not a certainty. Um, so even then it's just words that somebody who is feeling very uh, oppressed and passionate about something would use, that he doesn't necessarily mean exactly that, you know what I mean? So there's absolutely nothing to really uh, be upset about with this track coming from a Christian perspective, coming from the angle of somebody who would maybe get offended if this were, you know, heresy or something like that. There is absolutely nothing. So if you're seeing criticism from Christians, Dax, if you're seeing people who go to church criticize you, just know that you didn't really do anything wrong and all the criticism just comes from a place of selfishness and hypocrisy and just take it with a grain of salt. Uh, this song does more good, I think, than bad. One thing I will say is, as a believer yourself, this is tough to phrase, you know, I'm trying to think my way through it. As a believer yourself, our goal as believers is to bring God to other people and bring them hope and bring them a message of peace, you know, and love and things like that. Um, and I would be careful of presenting these questions in a way that would cause people to doubt God's existence instead of uh, coming to him to ask these questions and to seek these answers from him themselves. You know, it's that's really the, the only thing that I would say that we should be careful of. 
But uh, other than that, I feel like this is a really great song. You know, I feel like this is well produced, the mixing is very clean, everything that's technical about it is very well done. Questions like, why does every conversation end in a division? Why there's only you but multiple religions? Uh, why does everybody want to tell us how to live but they won't listen to the message that they're giving? You know, that's again, all of that religious hypocrisy that I was just talking about. People who don't really uh, read and understand what the Bible actually teaches. They just go to a sermon and they listen to a dude in a robe tell them what to do and they believe that that is right, you know, and that's absolutely incorrect. Why is there pain? Why do everything good always have to change? Why does everybody try to profit off of someone else's work and then destroy it just for monetary gain? You know, this all comes from a, a, a love of money. Uh, as the Bible says, the love of money is the root of all evil. It's not money is the root of all evil. evil. Money is not a bad thing. The Bible doesn't teach that money is bad. It just teaches that if you love it and you're greedy, that is the root of evil. A lot of people take that out of context and distort the verse to make it seem different. This all comes from a place of human selfishness, you know, of human greed. They've been saying one thing, but I've been looking in the book and it seems like they've been lying for my whole life. Absolutely, yes, I can relate to this 100%. I've been a Christian for all my life, 22 years, and it really feels like just now, as I truly open up the Bible and start to read it, uh, it seems like so many things that have been taught have just been wrong or distorted or passed down through generations and not fact-checked. And uh, it seems like there's just so much hypocrisy, and Jesus condemns all of that. If you read the, the four Gospels, Jesus is always calling out the religious zealots, the hypocrites, for forcing people to live a certain way when they themselves don't live it. You know, he, he condemns that too often, um, and it still happens every single day. The portion where, he, where the devil asks him to sell his soul uh, was really interesting. A lot of imagery in his lyricism. It's a great songwriting. Uh, the, like the structure of the track as well. My life is like a book and they've been judging it by the cover, but they never took the time to actually read it. Yeah, man, everybody feels that way. You know, it's something that's, again, so relatable about this song. I don't want religion, but I need the spirituality. I don't want a church. I need people to call a family. Uh, I don't want to tell my sins to another sinner just because he's got a robe and he went to some academy. Yeah, so, um, again, the Bible condemns the religious hypocrisy. Uh, if you look at the early church, they didn't even meet in temples. You know, they would go to the Jewish temples on the Sabbath in order to preach to Jewish people, but the church themselves would actually meet in people's houses. They would have communion. They would have relationships with one another. They would uh, have fellowship. They were basically a family. The Bible doesn't tell you to confess your sins to other people. It says to confess the sins to God because he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. That's exact. That's literally the verse. Uh, if we confess our sins to God, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. So you don't have to confess them to another person. Confessing sins to another person would be like, hey man, I'm struggling with this portion of my life and I need you to pray for me or I need you to help me to stop doing this certain thing. But you're not confessing sins to them for forgiveness. You know, you're confessing a sin to them in order for them to help you get through it and to stop committing it. That would, That's what the Bible really points us to, is just having that intimacy with one another. Um, but confession is something that I personally don't believe to be necessary unless it's straight to God through prayer, you know, things like that. So again, yeah, just pointing out a lot of religious hypocrisy. I really enjoy this. I really think it's eye-opening. I think that a lot of people need to hear this. I think that this is a very positive message. I think that you wrote a beautiful song, Dax. Um, like I said, I would just be careful uh, to present these questions in a way that draws people to God to ask them instead of cause them to doubt his existence. Um, if that is your, your goal, you know, because you said you were a believer, um, I think you should be proud of this track. I think you should be proud of all the success that it's achieved. You know, it's definitely worthy of all that success. It's getting views for a reason. People are really relating to this song. Uh, I'll leave a link to the video in the description if you want to go watch it and you haven't seen it yourself. Uh, I'll also leave a link to Dax's social media so you can follow him on Instagram and Twitter. And um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Those are my thoughts off of, off of this listen of uh, Dear God. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about this track in the comment section. We can have that discussion as well. But I think Dax did his, did his thing, and he should be proud for sure. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you all in another video very soon, guys. Until then, stay safe. Peace out.